Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler still in Las Vegas, Nevada, actually in a suburb called Henderson. If you guys have been to Las Vegas, you've probably been here. I would highly recommend Henderson for thrifting. I've been to Castaways, I've been to Goodwill, I've been to Savers, now we're going into the Salvation Army. Going to try to hit a couple of antique stores also. I will say I have had some great luck with jewelry no purses and also at blackjack i've won several hundred dollars so it's been a great trip i love vegas come out here once a year so hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on live buy nows of jewelry and purses on youtube and ebay also make sure that you hit that subscription channel subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let's head into this salvation army family store and see what we can pack out so a big clean store not sure if they got any purses i mean they've got purses i can see them right here not sure if they have any jewelry though some of these stores don't have jewelry so this is a cute little travel wallet called teeny weeny and what are these are these handkerchiefs or what is that bandanas something so they do have purses and wallets here I don't know what we're gonna find though I just never know see so, yeah, I've been to castaways which that videos out um, I've been to Goodwill Salvation well this is first Salvation Army here Savers I went to Savers it was great really enjoyed that but Henderson, Nevada has lots of thrift stores. So this wallet has Chinese writing on it. This is, oh wow, I love this. And so I'm sorry, it is not Chinese writing. I didn't see the Egyptian um, embossing there. We're gonna get this one just cause it's super unique. So I'm so sorry that I could not hardly see that. But now you can in the lighting. This is a very unusual wallet, can be a man's or a woman's for sure, and I love to collect unusual wallets for myself. I don't know if I'll keep this or not, or if I'll resell it, who knows. I may just keep it for myself, I love it. I found a Louis Vuitton while I was out here, I don't know if it's real or not, the Louis, but I kept it too, but I may keep this in my little stash, so just so you guys know, just like most of you ladies that have a lot of purses, I do like to collect wallets for myself and change those out. Just depends on which my, way my boat floats. So when I pack something up, I sometimes don't resell it. It just all depends. It sometimes depends on which way the wind blows, my friends. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Pretty Wallet. A little bit of raveling there on the edges. Love the Egyptian wallet. Love it, love it. Wonder if this is branded. It is. Carbon checkbook divider. This is Princess Gardener. Never heard of that. So if you guys have seen or heard of the Princess Gardener brand of wallet, maybe they have purses too. Comment below. I think all of these are going to fall off of this shelf for sure. Let's see what this one is. I'm trying not to knock everything off. No branding. I don't know if wallets just have one price or what. I'm hoping that they know the price of the wallet because if they don't, they usually don't sell them. And I don't want Tijanello. I don't want to not get that Egyptian wallet. I love it. Croc embossed type prints. Always draw my attention, big Buddha. This is a cute purse. It's 
It's a little bit tattered though on the handles for something that's new. I like to try to get things in pretty good condition unless it's vintage and it's, you know, worn in a certain vintage way then I'm good with that. This kind of looks to be leather. I'm not sure if it is or not. Brass hardware. Let's look inside and see. There's not even branding inside or anything that indicates whether it's leather or not. It's not designer marked either, but that's okay. Design for Madly. Nautica. Don't always have to have designer brand, but I'd prefer designer brand, but sometimes there are non-designer brands that look nice too. I wish that were leather. Had it been leather and not designer signed, I would definitely would have purchased it. What is this baby here, Madden Girl? So this location does not sell any jewelry, so you will not see any jewelry. We saw some purses. Look at these crazy fun chairs. I wish I would have seen these back in. I wish I'd have seen that. These are not even wood. Those are awesome though. Kind of a mid-century modern vibe to them. I wish that they had these back in Texas. I might have purchased them for the Airbnb. So we're gonna look at the doodads and the whatnots and see what we can find, what we can pack out. I don't ever sell these on YouTube, just purses and jewelry, but I still like to look. Cause you never know. You never know what there's gonna be, what there is going to be. I wonder how old this picture is. It's very dusty, made in China, $4. Detailed. Maybe 1970s, not sure. This is nice. I like it. It's like shellac is on it. The shellac. Here's some bunny banks. The old shellac. Looking for anything unusual. This is kind of old, I hate to admit. 1971. Five ninety nine. Someone's old bronze shoe. It's a thing of the past that you don't see done anymore. How many of you guys have an old bronze shoe that your parents did for you as a baby. One ninety nine brick and brack. Very cool piece. Look at this miniature whiskey jug bank. Had been broken, or maybe that's just there for character, but I'm betting somebody broke it to get their money out. What do y'all think about that? broken all the way around but resealed nicely feels like it's pottery okay now this right here I like this for a couple reasons this is not old but it could be used in the Airbnb take a look at this guys you could put a little note right here that says something $3.99 I'm just wondering if I can get that back in my suitcase to the Airbnb I like that I really, really like that. But you could put a note and set it on the back of the toilet. It says, don't flush toilet paper, too much toilet paper down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? If you've seen Airbnbs, you have them little notes that they'll put down, do's and don'ts. But I like this. It kind of has an old vibe, but not really. It's not old, I mean. But I think I am gonna get that and try to stuff that into my suitcase. It's definitely breakable. Look at this old jewelry box. Wow. I love this. Why can't I find this stuff in Texas? Why does it always have to be on vacation? 
Cece could put her jewelry in this. Look at that. How cute. Love this metal horse. $5.99. Folk art is what I call it. This is cute too. I don't think it's old, but I like it. I like it. $3.99. What else do we have here? This cute little shopping cart would have been great in the kitchen at the Airbnb. You could put it on the counter. Look at that. You could put that on the counter and put coffee in it. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. And this looks like it's an old shelf. I want to make a lot of racket. Oh gosh, I did. Look how cute this is. Look, $3.99. That is fabulous. Look at that. It's hand painted. That would have been so cute hanging up in the Airbnb. See if you can get a better look like that. But, of course, I would find all of that stuff while I'm in Vegas, right? And not when I'm close to where I don't have to ship. $3.99 for this. Copper file organizer. Would be great, too for brochures and things for the Airbnb, but of course, the shipping would cost more than $4. Look at this measuring cup. Western Germany. So this is actually old. It's cracked a little bit. I don't think it's been glued back, though it looks to still be in great condition. I guess this does age it a bit. Look at that, Western Germany. Zoom in on that so you can see it. $1.99. Now that to me, whether you use it or not, would be super cute for an old vintage kitchen. Use it as a plant, like a succulent planter in the kitchen. That would be great. I would love to buy this, but I'm not sure if I can fit that in my suitcase either. Oh, decisions. I love old pie plates too. So yeah, I don't like just jewelry and purses. I do love thrifting for other items as well. Okay, now this plate right here might be an example of things I like to get. Just look at this. These are usually, the ones I like are usually made in England. So let's see what it says on the back. This one is Austria. And it is a three dollars and ninety nine cents. I love these at holidays because I think that they not fashionable, but in I think they're kind of in. Let's see if we can show you. Looks like there's a ribbon there on the end of it. So a great piece for $3.99 if that were in Texas. If I were in Texas, I would definitely get that. There's another one right under here I'm eyeballing that I want to take a look at. I feel like I hit the jackpot when I'm out in Vegas thrifting. Sorry for the racket. I'm really not after this one. I'm after that one right there, the brown one. But I like that too. So this, I don't know if this is handmade or what. This is beautiful. Look at the detail in the ceramic work. It's raised. Wow. Very heavy. $20. To me, it's worth it. This can't carry it back with me, but that's beautiful. Very cute spoon rest. Look at that. And it's cracked too, guys. Look at this. It's so cute. That would be kind of fun to have at the farmhouse. I do have a spoon rest out there, but I love the folk art of this. 
Here's another platter that may be the sister, the match to the um, Austria that I just showed you. This is great too, and I think it is. It's the same pattern. And it's not, guys. This is Havilland, France. $7.99. So yes, had I been in Florida and found this, I would definitely get this for my collection. I would not pass this up if I were in Florida, but since I'm in Vegas, I'm not gonna ship it back. But I hope somebody picks that up because that's a really great platter. Havilland France platters, I think are awesome. Homer Laughlin, that's a good brand too. That's not an old one. This platter here looks like it could be old, but I don't believe so. It looks more like a Strawberry Street brand. $3.99 it is. The good thing about that is that's a great platter too, and I would definitely buy that and use it at the Airbnb. This would make a great salad bowl. I don't know how old something like this is, guys, but this looks mid-mod. This looks 1960s to me. But there you go. It's not. It is a Target brand, $25 or $40. So at first that looked mid-mod, 60s, but that's a great idea, a great design on it. But it is definitely not 1960s, but that's beautiful. So how many of you guys had this in your house here? This is Edwin Knowles, K-N-O-W-L-E-S. Look at this pattern. It's a beautiful platter. And I don't know what this is. Look at this. I assume you put napkins right here. I don't know if it's old or not. It's $3.99. Look how cute. Very interesting artwork. Clothing hung over a fireplace. This looks to be old. It's print though. It's not oil or anything. And then we have some games. I've got quite a few games already in the Airbnb. I've been told though that I should get some puzzles to put in there. The puzzles I'll probably buy new unless I can find them at a thrift store new. So guys, we're going to close this out. We're gonna head on to the next thrift store in Las Vegas or Henderson. So if you guys would please hit a thumbs up for this video, subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell but on the notification bell make sure you hit all next to it so you're notified of all jewelry sales that I post as well as videos I do the live jewelry sales on YouTube I usually incorporate purses in those too but just make sure you hit that notification bell and all so that you're notified of everything that I post and until the next video or next buy it now sale I will see y'all later. What is this? I love that. So guys, on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.